Do Right Wisdom here folks and welcome to Earth Date Y2K 18.06.12 Just 147 days until the midterms. I want to thank all you folks who come and visit my site, make comments. If I don't always have time to answer, please don't be take offense. I save your messages with love and respect. And I'll try to get back to as many as I can but I have so much that I have to write down, I have to put out in, uh, in this era that our country is in great danger. And by the way, the reason I'm wearing sunglasses is I'm trying to give you a break from dead eye dick. I believe that it is always important to talk before you wage war. This is especially important when we have the capability to destroy this entire planet with nuclear weapons. However, Trader Trump is the wrong person to negotiate. He is not an American who supports the Constitution and the rule of law. He is not an American who respects other democracy supporting allies. He does, on the other hand, love dictators. And this is dangerous in the world that is almost half enslaved by them. Our democracies are points of light in the darkness of the gathering clouds of totalitarianism. Again, almost half of our planet is enslaved by authoritarian dictators and thanks to traitor Trump, the other half will fall into chains as well. I totally reject Trump's North Korean summit because at its core it is rot and chaos. I want you all to remember that had Obama decided to meet with Kim the thug, he would have been excoriated by Trump and the entire Republican Party. In this world, anything a Republican wants to do gets a pass, even if what they do endangers democracy. Trump's lead up to the Kim Thug meeting was his trashing of allies of the G7. I love my free country and what it is supposed to stand for. But under the traitor, our country seems to be moving into another deadly direction. Kim the Thug has murdered thousands of people, and who knows how many he has imprisoned. For years and years, the Thug has wanted to be recognized by America. And he's always despised this country. And now, thanks to the birther, the creep, the traitor, Trump, Kim the Thug is finally getting his wish. Yes, it is better to talk than to fight, but the deal, quotes, that Trump is making with the North Korean dictator bodes ill for America. A free country should never lend legitimacy to a country that violates human rights. North Korea, China, Russia, among others, have been violating human rights for years. And Trump has simply rewarded Kim the thug with legitimacy instead of condemning him for being a warmongering, oppressively cruel dictator. Traitor Trump has agreed to stop military exercises with South Korea without even telling them about it. He says that Kim thug has agreed to denuclearization but without any means to check if he is following through. Trump treated our allies at G7 as if they were nothing. I understand why. I don't need the pundits or the mainstream media to tell me that the creep loves dictators and all manner of strongman leaders. Traitor Trump and the North Korean thug are alike. They even have the same flat-headed Frankenstein monster hairstyle. Trump's with the American theme and the thug with the Asian theme. I want peace, but we will never have it as long as we tolerate totalitarianism. That system should be illegal throughout our planet. And those countries that oppress their populace should be sanctioned to death. Traitor Trump is an ignorant fascist mobster an oligarch wannabe, a dictator wannabe. He is being played by seasoned dictators around the world. And if we are not careful, my friends, one of them will be ruling us in the days ahead with the Trump goon as their puppet. Our dictator just simply loves dictators. <laughs>